Let's check it out one last time. Hey guys, you're here and today got a hobby box 2021 Upper Deck Extended Series Hockey. But before we get on to Extended, this video is sponsored by GP Sports Cards. If you're looking for a unique approach to hockey box breaks, check out gpsportscards.com. With 21-22 Extended coming out tomorrow, GP Sports Cards will have breaks available with team select and team random options available. GP will be live all day Wednesday, so be sure to check out gpsportscards.com. Links will be in the description. All right, 2021 extended. Since 2122 is coming out tomorrow, we decided to pick up another box of 2021 and just have a look back at the first year of extended. And well, this box cost, I think it's sub $100. It was a little over $100 after taxes. There's not a whole lot in here. It's aggressively not great. As for the young guns, here is the best young guns right now. Michael Bunting young guns, it's sub $20 right now. Calder finalist, he's gonna have a canvas young gun in 2122 extended. We'll get into 2122 when it releases tomorrow, but yeah, here's the list of 2021. There's 30. There's gonna be 50 for 21 22 but the 30 there kaliev is a sub 10 dollar card now there's also some guys that still have potential like a rathbone a hofer logan stanley looks like a pretty decent defenseman there so it's rough and in retrospect with 2021 extended this whole product seems like an afterthought fortunately 21 22 seems more fleshed out but the offering really isn't that great in here a lot of retro inserts in which the design is the exact same as what they were modeling the cards after but i mean i guess the lafreniere image variation is a cool pull yeah there are some cool pulls in here but they are very tough so let's check out 2021 again let's get right into it okay extended also you should know to drill by now but yeah six young guns in here plus a 506 tribute young gun so maybe we get a quality name there 21 22 will have 607 tributes so let's check out 2021 once again here we do have a young guns first pack so I've seen this base a lot i've opened a ton of loose packs of this stuff there's a the first young guns jake bischoff young guns so a lot of commons in here there is bischoff almost this whole crop is just a bunch of depth players fortunately with 21 22 it definitely seems to be a a stronger crop with more worthwhile players i mean they could have just put like the best dozen players into sba like they've always done but next is the thing now though there is a logan stanley rookie class there okay there will be canvases in 21 22 also we got an ultimate victory jake ottinger decent name there and then we yeah oh there you go connor mcmichael pretty sure i pulled this one but there's our 506 tribute young guns all right there mcmichael is an all right prospect i know some people are pretty darn high on him i would say it's a wait and see approach with him but there's mcmichael okay next pack up here another young guns is a hockey db picture young guns there cam hillis so there is cameron hillis young guns a lot of these hockey db pictures okay yeah just the portrait shot but obviously this stuff came out when did this stuff come out i'll throw it up i actually forget but it looks like we got a Ty Smith SBX there. So there you go. There's Ty Smith. These are numbered like, yeah, $29.99. So there's Smith. He's on Pittsburgh now. So there's Smith. Next pack up here we go. Yeah, Dazzler's Blue, Joe Pavelski. So yeah, I really don't think this box should be anywhere near $100 Canadian. It definitely looks like 2122 is going to be way better, way more fleshed out. But looks like we've got a Reflections Red to 500 here, bam. Oh, Pia Suter. Reflections to 500. There you go, Pia Suter Reflections, Kate. And we got another Young Guns here, hoping for a Bunting. Here we go. Oh, there you go, Michael Bunting. Young Guns. There you go, there's Bunting quality one there. I actually bought one because I want one because he really doesn't have any other rookie cards. This card is frick up what is that like it felt weird on the back there it definitely is what is that on there and then the foil on the front there kind of messed up okay but there's bunting current best rookie of the crop might stay that way so calder finalist there's bunting but yeah he has no rookies for whatever reason 21 22 extended he'll have a leafs canvas young guns which is kind of bizarre but we got a 506 retro Rensky. that must be like a rule breaking thing there it has to be then again 2021 was a rule breaking thing in general at least upper deck broke their own rules and had a bunch of players that never Never even saw NHL Ice have rookie cards as Holy Levy, ultimate victory. I mean, heck, Pavel Francouz should have had a rookie card in 1819, but he has rookie cards in 2021. I'm pretty sure they were just like, screw it, we haven't gave this guy a rookie yet. Let's just throw him in 2021. But it looks like we got Hog Graphics, Kurashev, okay. Uh, what else we got here? Another Young Guns, yeah, another Young Guns. Oh, Artem Zub, Young Guns, so NHL player there. Zub, okay. Next pack up here we get, I mean, some nice all star base cards there, but uh, Nick Robertson. Rookie class special edition there. And then we get... Oh, Ovation Premier Prospects. Pia Suter. There's an Ovation card there. It's a checklist. Okay. Next up here for extended 2021, Nick Suzuki. Retro there. And we got another Young Guns here. Who is it of? It is Cole Holtz. Young Guns, so not a great one there. So there is that. Also, the quality is really not great. Hopefully, 2122 is better. Uh, we got another Young Guns here. Maybe get a Young Guns exclusive in one of these packs. There's Corey Schneider. Okay. But hey, French young guns, Patrick Kodorenko. So there's 
Kodorenko. Not a great one, but hey, French Young Guns, I'll take it. So there you go, there's Kodorenko. I mean, this product would probably be seen as a product of its time, considering when it came out. I think Upper Deck has gotten their crap together better this year than last year. Like, last year is probably at its very worst, but is that clear cut? Wait, no, we have something stuck here. Wait, what? Uh, wait, oh, there we go. Never mind. Mitch Marner, ultimate victory. We got five packs left here. Here we got a Reflections, Victor Soderstrom, K. Okay. We got four packs here, another Young Guns, Logan Stanley. Well, there's a good one there, Logan Stanley Young Guns, big defenseman there. NHL regular, so hey, I'll take that. As we open the final three packs, okay, we yeah, oh, Jack Hughes, retro, two packs left here. Do we have anything in these final packs for, hey, is that really a base pack? Yeah, that's a base pack, okay. Hey, gonna be something in this one here. I feel like we've definitely gotten enough young guns. There's definitely something different in here, a red card. Uh, looks like it's a holographics gold, perhaps, in here. There's, oh, Tim Stutzla, holographics gold. Half decent pull there, so there is Tim Stutzla, holographics gold to finish off the box of extended. Yeah, guys, there's a box of 2021 extended. <laughs> I mean, for 2021 here, hobby boxes should be like 50, 60 bucks. I'd feel like that'd be a reasonable price for this. The upside is just not there. I do like the 506 tribute young guns, but it looks like 21, 22 extended is going to be much better, and I hope it is, but stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.